Hi, I'm drummer Snappy Smith, and welcome back to the Couch Series. This will be lesson two in this series, and uh, again, it's you and me on a couch with a practice pad going over some of the basic lessons taught to me by Freddie Gruber. So if you recall, of course, in lesson one, we uh, established the fulcrum, the good basic uh, wrist turns and arm movements, and of course, established a nice uh, level uh, strike position. So moving forward, uh, we're gonna get into release and up and down uh, strokes. And uh, to do this, you wanna make sure that the stick is really level to the snare drum as much as possible. Feel free to raise your snare drum for these exercises or your practice pad. And maybe even have the tip just slightly up a little bit so that uh, you get a nice flat stroke. Uh, the idea being that the lower the fulcrum is, the easier it is for the stick to pop up, right? The more we're like this, the more the way the stick is working against you. The, the, the lower you are, the more level you are to the drum, the more the stick can really pop up, right? Okay, so uh, the way this works is, again, you're going to your fulcrum release, and from that release position, we're going to do a half circle movement, and it's gonna be going forward, up, back, and down, forward, up, back, and down. And it really is a snap kind of a movement, uh, kind of a whip action. You're keeping the stick tilted forward, and as you're coming up and back, then you come down quickly with it, and you create that kind of whip action. And you wanna do it slowly and really, really feel the weight of the stick and shift that level, that weight of the stick to the back part of the stick to get that strike. So that's an important kind of up, down uh, uh, movement, and um, he would use this movement in, uh, of course, all the roughs and roll uh, strokes as well as paradiddles. So it's an important movement that really kind of is a game changer for me because you're really getting two beats out of one. You're going tap, down, tap, down, tap, down, tap, down. A little bit of a rocking motion. You know, as you as you refine it, and it's usually it's definitely utilizing the forearm. So it's not only just a release, but it's it's your forearm and your shoulder kind of carrying that stick around. So everything's being used, coming from your shoulder down your elbow through your forearm into the stick, and it can be a simple little movement, but still get a lot of power. Something as subtle as that. It's actually the same basic principle. I think I'm doing more of a back whip, but you can still kind of come forward like this, kind of throw it forward. So it's a great movement to, to develop. And um, uh, you know, from there, that movement would be applied to his roughs to roughs and his roughs to rolls exercises. And basically the way this works is uh, you start with you know, three stroke rough, you go three stroke, four stroke, five stroke, seven stroke rough, and then you convert that to uh, a five stroke roll, seven stroke roll, nine stroke roll, and a 13 stroke roll. So I'll kind of demonstrate how this goes. Again, it's this movement here, and there's a little bit of a, of a, a language that goes with it. Which, so I'll do it very slowly here. It's up, tap, down, up, tap, down, right? Up, tap, down, that's the three stroke rough. Then the four stroke rough is tap, tap, down, tap, up, tap, down, tap, up, tap, down, tap, up, tap, down. Then the four stroke, uh, five, five stroke rough, <laughs> tap, tap, up, tap, down, tap, tap, up, tap, down, tap, tap, up, tap, down, tap, 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 down, down. And then the seven stroke rough would be up, tap, up, tap, down, tap, up, tap, down. And this is really, where you start to really get some swing to your playing because this up, tap, down, tap, up, tap, down, you really get this. So you can really kind of build some momentum. See? So to put it all together, you would you kind of do it all within the same timing.
and then they would do that going to rolls. So that was a, a really a, a, a main exercise. And again, this, this release up, back, and down motion uh, ends up getting used in a lot of, uh, a lot of exercises. And um, you know, I'll make one comment about the things that I learned from Freddie was, you know, all these movements had subtle little variations to them. It wasn't just, it was, it had that kind of those, each, 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 each beat had its own little movement to it. And it's almost like a physical phrase, you know, <laughs> like you have phrases in music, a, a grouping of notes is a phrase, or, or in poetry, a, a grouping of words expresses a thought. Well, with, with drum technique, you know, when you have these little, each beat is, has its own little placement to it. And it's, uh, it, it really creates a, a flow so that when you do a roll, it's, you know, it's just one. It's like a, you know, so anyways, I think that's a, a, a good lesson for today. That was lesson two. Um, uh, lesson three, we'll get into, uh, I think, more paradiddles and drags and that kind of a thing. But I hope you dug it and uh, maybe you can kind of go, go over some of the things we taught in, lesson, in the past two lessons. And until uh, next time, keep it snappy.